Welcome, guys, to the newest edition of The Twani Show. My name is Angel Twani. It's been a minute. We're resuming the show, diving into politics. We all know that election is fast approaching and the primaries have just been concluded. We have like candidates from the PDP to the APC and to the Labour Party. There are so many questions in the hearts of Nigerians, ranging from who is going to be the next president, which political party is going to come into power. This are more questions. Do our voices really count in the next coming election? I am going into the streets, to the market. I want to find out from Nigerians what to think about the next coming election, come 2023. Come along with me. Do you have a PVC? No. Why? Because I don't vote. Why don't you vote? Uh, why should I vote? Because I think our votes don't really count. Who do you think is our next president and why? <laughs> Looking at the way um, the youth has woken up these days in our country, I'm seeing um, the majority going for Pito B. Uh, looking at it, the situation of the country now, we need a young, a vibrant leader. And checking at everyone for the candidates for the presidency, uh, I would say Pito B really do a good job. So inshallah, in my own thinking, that Concourse can be better to me and the whole Nigerians, that is all. So number one reason is that I know Konkoso is one of my person I know since when he's in governor or something else, the way he followed his role to develop nation. Yes, he has good focus to our futures. Nide Zabang Allah go in the case so Allah is up on a P Al Fairy. Well, I don't know who is going to be our president because anyone that come now where well, everybody will say the same thing. At the end of the day, nothing good will come up. Nigeria are suffering, killing everywhere. So we don't, I don't even have time to go and stand and waste my time to go and force everybody. If you look at the terrain of politics itself, there are a lot of politics. You know, we have politics. If you look at the science of political science itself, political science is teaching the science of politics, but not politics. But our politicians, what they are currently playing is politics, not po uh, politics per se. So I think uh, it's too early to say who the next president is. So do you think our votes come 2023 election counts? Well, I can say it can be counted because the way as the Mr. President announced that this coming election, there is nothing like a maneuver. What maneuver means is that there is nothing like a how are they calling it? That is dictatorship. I be how are they called? I forget ya. Dictatorship. Inshallah, we cannot experience any dictatorship from this our coming election. My food cannot count because they are not following food in this country. They are not following. The food count. They will count it in the first uh, time. They uh, they will count it. They did not count it. Yes, of course. Because with the recent sensitization, even though the NDE are uh, not, uh, sorry, the NOU, National Orientation Agency, are not doing their work, but the, the likes of you guys are sensitizing us. Yes, it will count. Do you think the involvement of youth in the next dispensation, in the next political scene, will make a difference or change the narrative? Well, I think the youth will have a problem. If at all we can come together as one and tackle our problem, I assure you, these old cargos will not be ruling us. These old people will not be ruling us. But we, the youth, have problem. We, the youth, uh, we have a lot of nepotism in us. We have a lot of sentiment. You know, we, the, the politicians have have found a means of, of dividing us, a kind of a, a divide and rule. So once you are you are one part of Part of the politicians, maybe one of these old cargos is yeah, enjoying or tapping something from him. You feel everybody should go to hell. If you check very well, I don't think uh, the years gone by, I don't think the youth has woken up like they have this time around. The internet, the um, PVC locations, the youths are much. So I guess it's a change. Obviously, I believe the youth of Nigeria is now quite educative. Uh, they, they know what they want. They are trying or the hustle, <coughs> sorry, you know, the hustle which goes through their life every day. 
they are surviving they are making their own way so i think uh, it's actually in fact it's is is the youth which will make the difference for for the next the elect coming up election do you think that nigeria is ready for a female president and do you think that a female president can change the narrative in nigeria come 2023 election <laughs> i don't think I don't think so. Like they say, what a man can do, a woman can do better. But I don't think I've seen any capable female. Whenever there is a man, woman can be better, cannot be better. Okay. So being a woman president for Nigerian things can be another thing or can be another something like that too. Why not? There's nothing wrong in it. As, as, as I said, you know, it really does not depend on the gender of the person. It depends whether the, they understand the problem of the country or they have the solution of that problem or not.